Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. And today, let's continue our adventure to know God's creation from God's amazing creation book. And this morning, we will learn from the title, The Riddled Warning. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from John chapter 14, verse 26. It says, But the Holy Spirit will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Children, one day, when my dog, Nella, was about four years old, I received a panic call from my roommate saying, Come home fast! Nella's head is swollen up like a balloon. I think something has beaten her. I raced home and we headed as fast as we could to the animal hospital. I didn't know if she'd been beaten by a bee or by something scarier such as a snake. But when the veterinarian examined her, he found two leather marks on her nose. From the looks of them, he thought she'd been beaten by a rattlesnake. Nella spent the next two days in the animal hospital, being pumped full of healthy liquids to help her body fight off the poison the rattler had put into her body. When she came home, she lay around the house for about a week without energy to move or play. I wondered how in the world a snake managed to bite her on the nose. If you know anything about rattlesnakes, you know that they have a built-in warning system to keep people or animals away when they get too close. Their tail rattles to warn everyone, stay away. So, how did Nella get beaten? Didn't the rattlesnake shake its tail to warn her to get away? Yes, I think it did. And do you know what I think Nella did? I think she ignored the warning. I think she was curious about this weird animal. And even though she'd been warned to stay away, I think she stuck her nose where it shouldn't have been. Children, have you ever been somewhere or with someone that you knew was wrong? And did you get a little warning in your heart and mind? Sometimes we call that our conscience. It's a feeling that says, get away. This is not a good place to be. Run. For Nella, that warning came from the rattlesnake itself. But for us, that warning comes from the Holy Spirit. It's the job of the Holy Spirit to remind us of how to live the way Jesus wants us to live. So, 
Next time you get a feeling like that, remember what happened to Nella and get away. This is the end of our morning worship. And praise the Lord for this morning lesson. A lesson for all of us through a small dog, Nella, who ignored the warning signs and was eventually beaten by a red snake. Children, then what about you? Are you at a place with some warning signs given? Maybe it's at your house, at school, at church, or maybe some other neighborhood. Learn from Nala to not ignore every warning sign that is around you. It may be a sign that comes from your parents or your teacher or even from your friends, especially the warning that comes from the Holy Spirit. Be sensitive to the hint of the Holy Spirit when He whispers to you to not do things that are displeasing or breaking the rules, because of course there are risks or consequences that you must face when you do not listen your parents your teachers, or even the whisperings of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, this morning, ask the Holy Spirit to help you be more sensitive to hear the whisperings of the Holy Spirit and lead you not to ignore all of God's commandments. May the Lord bless and protect all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen.